Well, it's another week and another farm back in beautiful Alberta, and we've got Roger touring us around. Thanks for having us, Roger. Thank you. Um, so, Roger, you are a bison farmer, which is certainly a little more unique compared to some of the other businesses in Canadian agriculture. For sure. Um, tell me about tell me about the animals. Tell me about the buffalo. What are they like? Oh, well, bison. They're an original North American animal. Animal been around forever, and. Uh, they're made for this climate. They're made for this country. Uh, they uh, they do well. They're 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 actually one thing about bison. They're not as big as everybody thinks they are. They're a little bit smaller than beef cows. They eat a little bit less and they grow a little bit slower. They're they're kind of a, just a plain old natural animal. Mm -hmm. We haven't changed them at all since uh, since we found them in the 1800s. They the population. Uh, you know, at that time was hunted down and uh, there was only a few hundred left, but it's grown back up to almost 400,000 in North wow. America. You know, about half of that being Canadian bison and almost half the Canadian bison are here in Alberta. So uh, lots of bison farms in the area and mm -hmm. uh, they're growing. They're, there's growing demand for the meat and uh, for the animal. Uh, so we're seeing a lot of excitement in the bison business. So that's what they mainly are used for is the meat. Yes. Um, you know, like, how's bison meat compare to some of the other red meats that you'd get at the store? <clears throat> bison meat, uh, I mean, it's a red meat, so it's, it's, it can be similar to beef, but it's, it's leaner, it's higher in iron, lower in cholesterol. It's a healthy meat. It's a meat that your doctor may advise you to use Ooh. if you, if you, uh, have some health concerns. It's, it's one of the healthiest meats you can get. It's, it's a little bit more rich and filling and sweeter than beef too. Uh, so it's, it's, it's kind of like a wild game type meat. Uh, or not a quite? little bit, but it's not as gamey as you'd think. Yeah, I mean, okay. it's, uh, it's, it's like a lean beef or a grass fed beef, uh, just a little, a uh, little different than that. So mm -hmm. now where would, I mean, you know, from our place around Ontario, I can't go to my grocery store in, um, you know, London and find bison very often. Yep. Can you find it fairly easily out here or where could I find it even in Ontario? <clears throat> Well, I mean, you try a farmer's market. You may find some local, smaller local producers doing that. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, health food store. Uh, some of the grocery stores are trying to get uh, get a supply. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, high-end restaurants, different restaurants mm -hmm. are featuring bison burgers or bison steaks. And, uh, you know, I uh, could look online to try and get something delivered to your door. Oh, too, connect, so. and, connect right with a farmer themselves. Yeah. Yep. 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 Oh, so. neat. So, so then in terms of, you know, being a bison farmer, you know, what's, what's a day look like, or what's a season look like in you looking after these animals? Uh, yeah, well, we've, uh, you know, right now it's winter time. So, uh, we are on this farm, we're grazing some corn and we're grazing hay bales. Uh, so, uh, you know, with a herd of, uh, 120 cows, we might lay out 50 bales of hay, cut the strings off, we'll let them uh, graze that through over three or four weeks, and then we'll do it again. So we're not feeding every day, but we are uh, making, you know, we're checking animals, uh, you know, daily to make sure, see how they're doing on the hay and what's happening in the pen. Um, and, uh, you know, summer months, we're making that hay, we're planting those crops. And then once a year, you've got your roundup to wean calves. And then when you take those into pens, you can, uh, you know, you may be feeding them uh, or you're using them to breed. So you're putting them in different programs. And we've got bison in, you know, five or six different groups. This is the handling system. And this is originally designed for elk, uh, but we, it works great for bison. So uh, if you step inside here, uh, we'll bring the bison in from outside and uh, in through compartments. And with bison, you always kind of want a couple options because they're pretty smart. So if they don't want to go one way, maybe they'll go the other way for you. So we send them around. and uh, But it well, always leads to the same spot, yeah, basically. we're leading uh, usually to yeah. the same spot. Yeah. Uh, to, our, to a squeeze or to a scale and, and to a uh, sorting area. So mm -hmm. uh, the trick with bison, uh, what you need in Canada is you need a hockey stick. Uh, with a little bit of tarp on here and uh, I don't have any animals in here today We only round uh, use this thing once a year, uh, but sticking this in front of their face uh, Or behind them will get them usually to move where you want them to okay. so uh, this is you know Our number one tool in bison is a binocular the number two tool uh, we use a sorting stick uh, once a year for Yeah, because you're you're not going there's there a reason there's a gate. Yeah, and yeah, some no, steel no, here don't step inside there you, yeah. you stay out and uh, uh, Unless you want to have a short career in the bison yeah. business, yeah. Uh, then you'd step inside. But if you want to be in this long term, stay outside mm -hmm. of the pen 
and uh, and just do yeah. something pretty yeah. simple. Yeah. And then yeah. so and then you've got the squeeze up here. Yeah. So how how does a squeeze work for bison? Oh sure. Uh, important thing with bison squeeze is to have a crash gate. They'll run in there and uh, close the gate, and then you just kind of squeeze their. Uh, right behind their horns and to give them the ear tag, you give them a vaccination and uh, off they go. It's a really quick process. Mm -hmm. You want to have everything uh, in place, ready to go. Uh, they are required to have an ear tag, so that's important. And then anything else you want to do, you can break mm -hmm. check vice and also, uh, so we can do that with ones that we feel is necessary. You've got to keep your own safety in mind when you're working with these oh, animals. Oh, for sure, always. Yeah. Well, because I mean, like right here, we're sitting in the truck yep. and you know, we've got, we've got them around, but you know, we're not going to get out and go tour, you know, these individual cows. No, 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 you don't, because, uh, uh, and this time of year is a little bit uh, safer than, say, a calving season. You never get in between a bison cow and her calf. You don't help the cow calf. She takes care of that. Mm. Uh, if you tried to get in the middle, she'd take care of you before she took care of your calf. So, oh, really? Yeah. Uh, you stay out of the way with that. And, and breeding season, stay out of the way of the bulls. These animals, they're made to take care of themselves, and that's what they do. So. Yeah, well, so, and when you say take care of themselves, I mean, you know, it's a, it's a fairly fresh winter day here in Alberta. What a surprise. Um, you know, but they're... They are incredibly calm. They seem incredibly comfortable in the cold. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, they've got a, a warm winter coat. They grow a coat every year, and uh, it's made for this minus 30, minus 40 type weather. And they enjoy the wind. We don't have wind breaks, or, or they don't hide in the trees. They stand up on the top of the hill and feel the breeze and enjoy mm -hmm. the winter months. So Now, I mean, you know, as a bison farmer, I mean, clearly here in the truck, I can see that you're dedicated to it because you've got your... You know, like stuffed bison riding with you. Oh, You've yeah. got bison, what's a hat made from the hair of the yeah, bison? The bison fiber hair, so. Gloves yeah. and all of that. Yeah. So, I mean, obviously, you know, you've probably got bison in the freezer at home. Oh, every every meal is a bison meal. Uh, I mean, just about it? anyway. So. Yeah, just yeah, about. Yeah, so, yeah. I mean, you, you live and breathe this industry. You know, what makes you like being a bison farmer so much? Oh, they're an easy animal to take care of, get along with, and, uh, they, uh, you know, they're made for this country there and, uh, they're a lot of fun to take care of. And right now they're, they're a profitable business to be in too. So it's a great time to be in the bison business. So mm, that's wonderful. Well, really appreciate you touring me around today, Roger. Thanks very much. Thank you.